min wax poly shades, stain and poly in one step. Rich stain color, long lasting protection can be used over polyurethane finishes. I went with the satin. Um, this is about, I want to say about eight bucks. Um, it has the poly in it, saves you a step, which is really awesome because by the time your stain is dry and everything else, it has dust in it, and then you gotta, you know, then you have to dust cloth it and, and rub it down. I like to, if I'm staining something, I like to rub it down with uh, steel wool, hand rubbed, um, and it's a pain in the butt. And then you have to dust cloth it, and it's just a big pain. So I'm trying to get this done in one step, I'm trying to get it done as fast as possible. So I figured I'd, uh, if anybody, anybody has never used it before, I'm sure you guys have, some haven't. I'm sure I'll get blasted because there's better stuff out there. But for an economical choice, this is what you're going to find on, the, on most shelves at any hardware store. Minwax is a huge company, and um, you can find it anywhere in pretty much any color you want. Um, satin, uh, gloss, um, they have a matte, uh, but uh, we don't want super gloss. So. Um, it does have a batch number. Let's see if we can focus. We have a batch number that may or may not help you if it's a bad can. I'm sure Midwax wants to know about it, but uh, you know, I've never had any bad experiences with the Minwax. But <clears throat> We could zoom in, see what we can get off the back. Enhances wood grain by combining beautiful rich stain color and long lasting polyurethane protection in one easy step. Love that. Can also be used over polyurethane finishes so you can change the color of your finished wood without removing the existing finish which is excellent. <clears throat> interior use only plenty of warnings raw wood I'm sure they're recommending the pre-stained wood conditioner which we are not doing uh, I've used pre-stain before and uh, I didn't really care for it but uh, on maybe a pine it would even it out and uh, it worked pretty good for pine but for oak I, I don't waste my time uh, they recommend uh, sanding with a 220 uh, until smooth, remove all sanding dust. Common sense. I probably won't even do that. <clears throat> I did some sanding, but I don't think I'm going to play around. Now their application. Focus. Focus using a natural bristle brush. Apply a very thin even coat following the direction of the grain. Make sure to maintain a wet edge. Very important. So let the first coat dry for six hours or more. We're, we're gonna hand rub this with a rag. Um, I'm not bristling. I'm not brushing. What I find that uh, a rag works great for stain. Just a nice cotton cloth, uh, old T-shirt works great. Um, you could use a brush, but I find it messier. I'll probably make a mess, but we're gonna sand or, uh, um, we're gonna blast the deck. And uh, I, I'm sure all that will come off if I have any drips. And the table I'm working on is a glider. And it's seen better days. So I'm going to wind up staining this too. But uh, that's an exterior stain I don't have. So I'm not worried about it. 
we're going to wind up pressure washing everything back here anyway. So, so I bought the little can, eight ounces, half pint. Minwax poly shades. This is for your warnings. Every language, attention, very important. I'm not worried about it. Here's your Minwax company out of New Jersey. 2013. But what I wanted to emphasize, when you're working with stain, it's okay to shake. When you're working with polyurethane, do not shake. You do not want air bubbles in your polyurethane. No clear coat should have air bubbles. And that's what you'll have if you shake your polyurethane. Once again, stain you can shake. Stain, you rub it down, wipe it off. All the air bubbles are gone. Polyurethane holds bubbles. It's a little thicker consistency definitely will show your bubbles and bubbles you have to sand out we don't want to do that so what I had laying around some little craft sticks from the Dollar Tree one dollar it's just 60 pieces um, big old popsicle sticks works real well for this a paint stick is just too big to mix up this can so let me pop this can open let's get it mixed up Okay, we popped it open, we got the bag of sticks opened up. This is perfect for this. Now you, you don't want to shake it up too much, but you do want to get the stuff off the bottom. Stain settles. The pigments in the stain will settle to the bottom, and if you scratch around the bottom with your stick, you can feel some sticky. And those are your pigments that you won't get a uniform coat you won't get all the pigment distributed in the liquid of the stain so you want to stir this stuff I used to just shake it up and go but as I'm getting older yeah take the time do the stuff right get down to the bottom stir it up take a minute mix it up a little bit very important not to shake it you don't want to agitate the stuff. You don't you don't take polyurethane and go put it on your paint mixer at your local Ace or your local hardware store. Um, and they'll tell you the same thing. You don't want bubbles in your poly. This is a good good chance to um, take your sample, um, mix it up real good, try a piece of your raw wood rub it down let it sit take a sample you know make sure it's the color you're after because if you go too dark there's no turning back you have to sand it all out and it's a big pain this is quarter round we're not really worried too much about it but uh, we're going to try to get this done the first time so what I'm going to do mix it up real well and you want to mix up as you're doing it too, you know, every, every few minutes, take the time, mix it up. Get that pigment off the bottom. The pigment's heavier than the liquid and uh, will settle. So, what I'm going to be using is just a cotton rag, real nice soft cotton rag. Don't you go using microfiber cloths or nothing. Just an old t-shirt would work. Um, take your kid's shirt that uh, don't fit anymore and rip it up. And, um, and what I like to do is start on an edge. I like to get my work area. It's so hot out here. I'm sweating, dripping on the wood. You really don't want to stain wet wood because that's going to show. So what I like to do, no gloves. You should wear gloves, but I don't. I don't have any right now, and I'm not going to go looking for them. So what I want to do, I'm 
rub and wipe. They say keep a wet edge. Now that's probably a little darker than we want. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this little edge. I'm gonna do this little edge and go check my piece against the other woodwork. And let's see how dark we are compared to the other stuff. I don't want to leave it on long because the longer you leave it on, the darker it gets. And I don't think we want that dark. So let me pause it. Let me go check this wood on our existing woodwork and see how far off we are. Now there's our sample piece. And it's definitely different than our woodwork. I can see a big difference. But it matches the floor perfect. So what I'm thinking is we're going to go with it and then we're going to see how well Minwax Super Poly goes over the existing wood poly and see if we can darken up our existing baseboard. I think it matches the floor great. So uh, I think we could probably get away with it. It's going to add a lot more work to me to the whole job, but this this existing woodwork needs to be wiped down, and um, we'll see how uh, we can go over existing poly. I guess I should have cut the fray bristles off of this first, huh? I don't wear my glasses much when I'm working. And I think I should. <laughs> so I'm going to brush it on. We're going to see. We're going to go over this existing wood. <clears throat> it had polyurethane on it from 25 years ago and miscellaneous paint spills and such and uh, we're going to take this min wax poly and stain in one it says it will go over existing polyurethanes so we're going to give it a shot <clears throat> it doesn't match the existing stain And I went with it anyways because they didn't have the poly shades in the golden oak at the store. So I went with the classic oak. And, well, it's different. Classic and golden, two different things. Don't make that mistake. So we're going to see what it looks like. over the existing and I had stained some new oak that we're gonna try to uh, make this look good I know it won't match but I think it'll look okay so we'll see what it, uh, final outcome is looking like but I wanted to put it on tape you know eight millimeter but my eight millimeter was thrown out years ago. So we're gonna put it on video and uh, I'm gonna brush it on. We're gonna start with the brush and see what we look like. And I just start with nice, nice coat. 
go one direction. When you're working with polyurethane, you don't want to be too rough with it. You'll get little air bubbles. Stain is okay because you're going to wipe it off anyways. We're going to we're going to wind up wa wiping off. And I'm already putting bubbles in, if you could see. But the grooves are a little, a little, a little uh, harder to work with. This is uh, oh, a little too heavy there, boss. Looking okay. I don't see it. Uh, I don't see it matching up though. I'm gonna. Yeah, we're way off, huh? But I'm going to try putting another coat on the new trim and see how far off we are. I might not want to waste my time. We might have to get a different stain. What it looks like to me. It's really off. I don't know. Maybe if I leave it on. Let's give it a wipe first. We'll see. Let's give it a wipe and see what it looks like. Sorry about the shaky. Of course, I'm putting a shadow on the video. But uh, let's let's bring it in. Let's bring it into the light here. I'm gonna put another coat on this, and I should probably have it up against the wall or on a separate work table. But I'm just trying to do a quick match up here. I don't know. Definitely not a match. I don't even see a difference in the old woodwork and the fresh stain, to be honest with you. I am casting a shadow, but... I don't see a difference. I see it maybe being useless, useful polyurethane, but the stain itself isn't penetrating. I don't see a different color at all. It just looks shinier. And it'll take forever to dry if you don't wipe it. So. We have an issue. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna let this work. Which means time and money wasted. Eight bucks for a stain, all your time. Yeah, I don't care for it. The new wood matches the floor well but they didn't have the golden oak in the poly shades and I wanted to get it done all in one and this this floor uh, the woodwork needs poly the floor does not um, and it's looking like it just turned into uh, 
a few more days there. And my girlfriend has my truck, so I'm hanging out with no car, no ride. And uh, means I can't get to the hardware store. It just doesn't match. I think the trim should match the woodwork, even though it matches the floor. Looks great on the floor, but the woodwork is uh, not gonna work. No match. So, Minwax review, all in one. Probably a really good polyurethane. And I know it's a stain. Stains are easy. As far as time and years of holding up as a poly, I'm sure it'll hold the test of time. Minwax is a reputable company. There's more expensive versions out there. And I've used some of those and the stains are gray. They look richer, in my opinion. Minwax is a good go-to, reliable company. And most people have used it, so you would think a match would be easy to achieve. But pretty much my user error, I uh, should have went with the golden and did it just like the original people had did it. I'm sure they stained and polyed two part. So we're gonna leave this project on hold till we can get a match for stain. And uh, I do have a can of old stain that we found in the house and it is exactly Minwax. I'll go run and get that. Honestly, a can this this size, same exact product, Minwax, um, was only a dollar more, four eighty nine, I believe. I just priced them, so a dollar in probably twenty years. Not too bad. And Golden Oak, but there's nothing in here. It's dry, so useless, but at least you know the color. And that's a tip to homeowners, save your stain cans. So you can remember, and anybody working on your house can remember uh, in the future. You never know when you're gonna do an add-on or have to uh, repair pieces. And uh, it sure is a whole lot easier with the same tint in the future and uh, maybe you wouldn't waste two days of work but uh, we're going to sign off and hold off on this one um, I'll be back finish this and we'll go from there hopefully I can carry up on this Minwax review have a good night